Good day to you all. Our group members, including Mu Queen Yang, Zach Nix, and me, King, are going to present about the documentary film built on the Paddington Reservoir Garden, where the new design is successfully adapted in all settings. Paddington Reservoir Garden is an attractive new urban park that makes a ruined former reservoir available for the citizens to enjoy and relax. In 2006, this structure is in a state of collapse. The design team reconstructed it preserving its historical value and structure while enabling to meet the needs of modern people. Built a new park on the top of the old structure. All material from the historical structure is returned or reused, conserving both the embodied energy and the urban memory within it. The green area of this plot is enough for people to enjoy here. And there are three entrances of this park, but one is closed. There are some shade and active areas for residents to have fun. You can immerse yourself in your own world. Enjoy a moment of peace in a busy life. The structure of the building lies on different layers. The height differences creates a unique aesthetic feeling. The combination of the old and the new also has been shown in it. The Paddington Reservoir Garden reveals the successful approach of adaptive reuse process that is salvaged much of the reservoir's original framework and materials, fusing them with contemporary and sustainable elements, including the connections of new concrete structures to original brick vaults, the abstent steel wires to amplify the carved original brick arc intermediate, the waterproof concrete structure, the use of timber columns reinforcing the brick structure, and such as. The place is important in demonstrating aesthetic characteristic and a high degree of creative and technical achievement in New South Wales does, sustainably retrofitting heritage buildings and offering potential social, economic, cultural and environmental returns. Physical intervention to the historic fabric of the reservoir is carried out in a way that is amenable to the new use of the site while maintaining the significance of its design and urban memory. This can be seen in the newly cut openings to the eastern chamber and its raised access point which dissects the original archway vaults and reinterprets them in the above canopy. of improvement in accessibility, the construction of two entry canopies with the use of lightweight design roof guide the entryway into the reservoir. A lift and three egress stairs provide a system of entry that maximizes accessibility to the public. In addition, wheelchair accessibility is also provided, assisting wheelchair users to participate fully in all areas of the park. The architects had been very careful in ensuring that original fabric is protected from further wear and tear. This can be specifically highlighted in the utilization of concrete board walks, which step over the historic reservoir below and allow the user to see the site from an observational level. In the opening of the site to the public and retention of its open layout provides not only continuous active utilization but also security of the fabric from constant activity ensuring that the site experiences a continuous use into the future was critical in surviving the story of the Paddington Reservoir and its fabric. A successful aspect of the Paddington Reservoir is its use of nuanced interpretation. This can be seen in the incorporation of a Victorian sunken garden with native vegetation and the use of a reflection pool that symbolizes the site's historic use as a reservoir. In addition, the site also contains numerous examples of active interpretation, with the retention of original petrol bowsers and the placement of contemporary signage to facilitate an understanding of the site's history through text. The Paddington Reservoir as a project of urban renewal utilized a number of aspects of the conservation process, namely preservation, restoration, reconstruction, and interpretation. By utilizing sympathetic contemporary materials and by adopting the Borough Charters approach of doing as much as necessary while well as little as possible, the project has successfully produced an award-winning active community space that interprets the history of the Paddington Reservoir while retaining the significance and urban memory of its fabric.